Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. So basically to get things uh, straight first, I'm very sorry that I didn't upload a video yesterday nor notified you in any means necessary. If you wanted to watch it, well, that sucks to be you. Uh, I'm today with a earlier upload because I want to kind of make up for that missed upload of yesterday and yeah I was just feeling a bit sick so uh, if you know what I mean I just wanted to get some powers back to go with a brand new energy to a uh, new month pretty much because the season pretty much reset everyone is low on metal so the race for the first spot is still for the grab. So, uh, s since we are pretty low on ladder, I'm gonna just try out uh, many cheese decks, which are gonna be, for instance, this three gunner deck, which by by no means is meta. I'm gonna actually try to get a kill on this, and there we go. Actually, I'm gonna right now just counter attack because he must be very low on mana. Okay, this kill tiny, pretty much did absolutely nothing this runner will do absolutely nothing as well like oh that, that was a very bad trade but on the other side we didn't i mean i expect to get some damage i, I actually expected to kill him if interactions were to go a bit better for us we would get more than pretty much heal tiny connection it was very unfortunate actually for us now that i think about that like the ceiling of the damage we would get was like very high and right now I'll be receiving a lot of damage here so I'm gonna just min max it play a foot one against this I'm gonna support my right side with twins and I'm gonna go pretty much all in on the left side because well that's what matters in life you just go all in forget about everything and Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, and in this case my opponent will be actually very decent at holding that, so very lucky for him. He's gonna even get this uh, connection, which is like unheard of. He shouldn't get this connection, but he gets it, so I mean, he must be enjoying his uh, time right now. I'm gonna play Thief here. I'm gonna follow it up with a heal tiny. He's actually pretty decent, and I'm kinda slack enough in this matchup. I shouldn't be that careless. Okay, that's that's not gonna cut it. I kinda have troubles right now. I'll have to. Okay. I didn't know that Fifth with heal tiny doesn't, uh, yeah, be anything. I'm gonna try to get my footman here. Okay, so that's gonna be a very tough matchup to come back to because, well, I kinda underestimate my opponent. In a way, I kinda underestimated my opponent because he's playing very solid game and I absolutely should uh, respect his game way more. Okay, that's gonna be a poison. So right now I'll, I'll have just one shot and one opportunity to... Okay. I didn't want this to happen and right now I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just go and hope that works. He's gonna get another kite which is pretty nice for him and he's gonna, yeah, get a steel hammer. Yeah, that's gonna be an L for the first game and very unfortunate one because I thought like I'm gonna get a very uh, nice counter push but he was like very on top of his defense and yeah, definitely have to focus up because I was kinda messing around with him a little bit and he absolutely destroyed me wow that, that's insane let's hop to the game number two and we're in the second game against horka double mango well i guess it was supposed to be double mango but since only 15 cha characters are fitting maybe he was forced to reduce his name well Sucks for him, but for me, it's gonna hopefully be this uh, for medals, which we kinda strive for. So, he's gonna be playing actually Mirror Drunker, which is very weird, but at the same time, I kinda have no expectations from low elo players, so they might as well play that. He's gonna get a very nice counter against 
my twins and this T-Rex will be actually a nuisance since N not now I'm, I'm gonna be talking about f throughout the game because pretty much my only uh, air response will be a mana pump so now I think the best play will be to pump up and go for a ghost just try to surprise him with a maximum greed and hopefully it pays off because he pretty much at this point cannot tell my mana count it's it would be very hard for him to know exactly how much mana I have and that's why I'm gonna just play twins I'm gonna okay he's gonna be playing this so I might as well just go all in on the opposite side and may work out yeah I think that's I think that was the play because these runners will get a absolute ramp on his tower I'm gonna counter this skeleton keg and life is great actually I'm almost I'm almost there with a, a viking tower damage so <clears throat> one more push one careless move of his and his viking tower is gone and yeah that's a pretty nice sign here I'm gonna play a thief here so uh, my heal time will get some value I'm gonna play another mana pump so I kinda assure the victory in a way I'm gonna play ghost here uh, followed up with runners unfortunately ghost isn't that good uh, at the kiting like other cards but um, well, he pretty much cannot kite because uh, he's invisible, so I'm gonna play heal time. Unfortunately, this time I'm not gonna hit a thief, and right now I think, like, I'll just have to go for it and, yeah, make a break. He's gonna play freeze, which is very sweet play, but I don't think it does anything. Yeah, GG, well played, and that was the game number two. Very convincing. Actually, I don't think he had any response to, to my mana pump, so it wasn't out of cycle, he just didn't have it. Very unfortunate. And we're gonna get a rematch against Hoka Doble Mango, and I assume he's not gonna change his deck, even though some time passed. Uh, these low ladder players usually don't change their deck, even though they know they will be hard countered in the next game, like... In a way, they don't care about that, so I'm gonna just play as if he didn't change, and looks like he didn't change. <clears throat> At least not in a big way, because st he still keeps the structure of the deck similar, so he's gonna go for a double skeleton keg, and I'm gonna just try to survive that. <clears throat> Actually, I'm surprised that my... Putman Keg didn't do anything about these side skeletons. I think that it should be like for granted, but who am I to judge? I'm still playing a very decent deck, and yeah. <clears throat> He's gonna be playing Footman Keg here. I'm gonna play a fifth here to force out some response, and uh, yeah, I'm gonna play Twins on the opposite side. And right now, if he plays Drunker, which he does, I feel like I'm gonna. Nah. I'm gonna just play Ghost, play it safe, play it sound, I think, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna now go for a second mana pump, and right now, he will go for that, I'm gonna go for this one, I'm gonna go for fifth, so I block the bomb skeleton, and right now I just have a double pump setup, which is like a wet dream of every Trigunner player, so, we're gonna just do it, I'm gonna actually, I'd love to get a heal tiny on these twins, and I actually did, so that's a very nice uh, thing for me. I'm gonna play another mana pump because, well, in the previous game I've realized that he doesn't have any response against that, so I'm gonna just now split three gunners and live a very happy life because, right, right again, he's gonna be having a very hard time dealing with that. He's gonna play another bomb skeleton and a freeze, so... That's gonna be tough for him, because right now I'm gonna just go runners, and since he played a spell on defense, it's gonna be very tough for him to hold, or not. Or not, that was a very nice hold. I don't know why it is the case, but like... <clears throat> I feel like many uh, many players uh, have a easier time playing the game if they're winning, and if they're losing, they're just getting into their 
minds and things so I'm gonna just try to punish him because like my pumps are running low and the runners will connect to the tower so that was a perfect timing to strike and we're gonna be taking this home actually our opponent uh, made this game very competitive so props to him for trying and obviously he didn't have response against pump so that was a very nice matchup for us and yeah gg well played and right now we're up against the ggg so ggg is actually known for playing very cheesy decks in by all means so i expect a very fun game of him although right now he is opening pretty uh, in a standard way so he plays a flying robot and right now my game plan will be to like counterplay uh, his uh, other side like my life depends on that because it frankly does and after that i'm gonna just play three gunners and hope that he doesn't have poison because if he has flying bomb life will be fine if he has poison i'm gonna be absolutely screwed and okay he has poison so he doesn't uh, hit one one gunner so I think it can be still fine, I'm gonna go like this, I'm gonna go twins, I'm gonna get ghost going and I'm gonna just try to uh, get some uh, damage in, so okay, my ghost will be absolutely uncontested and his devils, I think I'm gonna actually counter it, counter them, my ghost is gonna be having an absolute run on his tower and that's very lovely, I would love this skeleton had to die so i can play runners at any point and i think i think that's enough because if he plays flying robot now i'm gonna just play runners on the opposite side and it's gonna be absolutely fabulous so i'm gonna just wait for him and i don't think i've i think like this is the best play i can make i'm gonna play three gunners here because like he gave me a bowl value and right now he plays in a very questionable manner because i don't I don't know if that's good or not, but in my books I'd love to say it's bad, but uh, it may be good as well, so you never know. I'm gonna play actually runners and heal tiny, just in case, and there we go, and his, and his skeleton hut is late, so that's gonna be a very good trade-off for us. Uh, I'm gonna be playing right now the fifth right here this thief should be yeah, going here i'm gonna play a uh, twins so right now ggg should be realizing that i don't have any uh, like spell that can contest his copter so that's gonna be a very hard for me to ever get rid of it and yeah he pretty much realized it i'd love this ghost to go onto his tower but like i don't think that's the case here i'm gonna go just in hope for some good connection here and i absolutely did i right now i actually don't fear uh, being three start i'm gonna just go for runners this ghost will be actual mvp here these runners will connect and that's gonna be a good game ladies and gentlemen against well i i don't want to say very hard matchup but it's not easy as well so he kind of missed some macro uh, interactions but like the way you want to play against playing robot is to kind of first play them because once they know that you don't have spell against helicopter they will absolutely destroy you in double so very fortunate uh, outcome here and yeah we're, we're gonna jump to the game number five and hope not to see this deck again because if we do yeah he will know our deck and then we're we're screwed and right now we're gonna get a Shikolo who has 618 medals and so far we don't know which deck is he using so I'm gonna just play as if everything was normal I'm gonna just play twins and goes he probably goes through his mental checklist which deck can it be and definitely Viking Bridge spam is crossing his mind I would love to get a better Heal tiny here, but it is what it is. I'm gonna get a footman here just not to give him any hopes and dreams. I'm gonna play that wins uh, on the opposite side, so like the skeleton card doesn't contest it. And okay, he's gonna 
he's gonna try to counter it that way. I have absolutely no problem with that. The only problem I'm gonna have right now is gonna be the Super Devil, which is gonna be very annoying because I kinda had to let my Thief die and like you probably know uh, from the bridge spam perspective, it's absolutely not perfect. So I'm gonna right now play Mana Pump and hope to not die in the next 10 seconds, if that's even possible. <clears throat> okay, so this Digger gets a 3 hit and unfortunately 3 hits is a magical number for a Digger that right now my pump has been neutralized. I'd love to have a Thief against this one, but yeah. Sometimes lives just sucks and I kinda mismanaged my uh, hand in a way. So I'm gonna right now play runners against this piercing archer. I'm gonna heal them up definitely for sure and make them a real threat. And the real threat they are because right now they will just get rid of the skeleton hat. And after that I think the play is just to pump up. And since I have a fifth in cycle I'm gonna be absolutely safe from all the diggers because I'll be able just to catch it. And there we go. He's playing poison, so he's just trying to justify his uh, digger play in uh, in one way or another. I don't think it matters that much because my ghost uh, will almost slip. Unfortunately, it doesn't slip. I would love to play this pump now. And yeah, he's gonna be fine for now, but I don't think it's gonna be well lasted. Okay, that's. That's gonna be a brilliant poison out of him, but on the other side, I think we can start playing our three gunners. And if we do, we're gonna just block the bridge here. We're gonna play runners here, and right now he's in a bit of a pickle because he kinda has to defend this very scary push. I'm gonna get a heal tiny off here. Um, I, okay, yeah, this piercing archer is dead. With, okay. It's not dead, That's, that, that actually sucks. So I'm gonna be trying to get this ghost going. Unfortunately, our pressure didn't pay off, so we're gonna just go like this. Unfortunately, like, no, no amount of pressure that we apply is like working right now, so I'll have to just go for cheats. And actually, he misses one runner, so that's pretty much all the damage we're gonna be getting for this game, so Right now, the objective is to just secure the damage that we have and not allow for him to get more. And right now I'm gonna just predict his piercing archer. It didn't happen, but like, it is the play you have to do. I'm gonna have a very tough push here, so he will have to kinda respect that in a way and don't keep attacking me. And I think that plan is working, so a very atrocious blunder out of him. It happens sometimes and we're gonna absolutely capitalize on that. If he were to catch these runners, I don't think I would be winning this game because like, that's how three gunners work. If your opponent has a digger or poison, it's already hard because they will have a very good response against pump. But if hey, they have both, well, it's gonna very suck because well, your, your opponent can just... Uh, play a digger on your pump and poison your tower and pump anyway and even get a value on the troop you've placed so it just comes together for them i think uh, against play against player that plays like that it's good to know that you can just sometimes sacrifice the pump and not play anything at all and just focus on your attack but if you do that your opponent has to like be on autopilot and it's not always the case so yeah there you have it, how to play 3 gunners in this new meta. Like always, I highly encourage you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you aren't already and if you enjoyed my content because I'm gonna be posting pretty much uh, every day. Today was like, I mean yesterday was an exception. Today I'm gonna be catching up with that and posting twice as many videos, which is, well, one times two is two. So yeah. Thanks for watching, uh, smash subscribe button and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Boom Arena.